today, this is part 2, we'll be going over the psychic powers and the HQ section. Right, so the three different gods which you can use psychic powers for. Zinch, Nurgle, Slanesh. Corn doesn't use psychers. Okay, what have we got for Zinch? Primus power for Zinch. Zinch is Firestorm. Witchfire power. Range 24, strength D6 plus 1. Okay, that's a bit off. Assault 1. Okay, assault weapon, so you can still charge. Blast, so that's the small blast marker. Inferno, what's Inferno? For each model that is removed as a casualty, as a result of this weapon, the remainder of the unit immediately takes further D3. Strength, strength free AP negative hits. These extra hits do not themselves generate more hits. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's not bad against a swarm, I suppose. Can't see that being much good against anything with good armor or high toughness, but it's not a bad one for a Primus. Uh, if you roll a 1 or a 2 on this table, you get Boons of Mutation, Warp Charge 1. It's a blessing, targets single friendly character. That character takes a strength for AP negative hit. Okay, if the character survives, he must immediately make a roll on the Chaos Boon table, re rolling the Dark Ascension result as described under the Champions of Chaos rules. Okay, so you can you if if you hit yourself with strength or hit you get to roll on the table. Um that's stupid. That's quite useless if I'm honest. I don't know many people that will use that. Right, three or four is Doom Bolt. The Psyker hurls a bolt of lightning, so it's is a beam star weapon, range 18, strength 8, AP 1, assault 1, detonate. Detonate, if the doom bolt hits a vehicle that causes an explodes result, roll 2d6 to determine the explosion, explosion di distance. That's quite good, and that's only warp charge 1. I like that. Really do like that. If you're all five or six, Breath of Chaos, Warp Charge 2, Witch Firepower, Template, Strength 1 AP 2, Assault 1, Corrosion, Poisoned 4 Plus. So whatever is under it is getting wounded on 4 Plus and it's AP 2. Ouch. Do not roll for armor penetration against vehicles touched by the template. Instead, they suffer a glancing hit on a d6 roll of a 4+. plus. So 50-50, you glance a vehicle with it. Probably going to be firing out Terminators or Power Armor. This has the Zinch abilities. They're not bad, actually. A couple of them I wouldn't have much use for. Yeah, a bit off. Next is Nurgle's various abilities. Primus power for Nurgle, Nurgle's Rot, Warp Charge 1, Nova power, range 6 inches, strength 2, AP 5, okay, assault, D6 plus 1, so ranging from 2 to 7 shots, poison 4 plus, um, that's not bad, if you're all a 1 or 2, weapon virus, Warp Charge 1, Malediction. An enemy unit within 24 inches. All of the target's unit's ranged weapons have the Gets Hot special rule whilst this power is in effect. That's quite nice. So if standard sword of tactical means all their weapons would have Gets Hot for the next shooting phase. Yeah, I'd, I'm liking Nurgle so far actually. 3 or 4 is Gift of Contagion, Warp Charge 1. Malediction affects an enemy within 48 in 2, 8 inches. 
Roll on the table below to see what effect they get. So D3 on the disease granted. Number 1, minus 1 attack and the shrouded special rule. So they get a cover save. Okay. 2, minus 1 strength and they may not run. That's quite nice. 3, minus 1 strength and minus 1 toughness. Okay, that's quite nice. And finally, if you roll a 5 or a 6 on Nova, it's Warp Charge 2, Witch Firepower, Range 12 inches, Strength 1, AP 2, Assault 1, Large Blast, Poisoned 4+. plus. So you get to drop a Large Blast template with AP 2 wounding on 4 pluses. That's nice. That is nice, actually. So Nurgle Psychers are looking like a good option at the moment. Last one of the Psychics. Discipline of Slanesh. So they've got the Slanesh powers. Primus power is Warp Charge 1. Witch Fire power. 24 inch range. Strength 4. AP 4. Assault 4. Blind. Concussive. Pinning. That. Mm. I can see that being useful. Next one, if you roll a 1 or a 2, Hysterical Frenzy, Warp Charge 1. It's a blessing. Roll on the table below to see what the targeted unit gains. Roll 1, plus 1 initiative. That's quite good. Roll 2, plus 1 strength. Roll 3, plus 1 attack. Yeah, can't argue with that. That is surprisingly good. Uh, 3 or 4, Sym Symphony of Pain, it's a malediction, enemy unit within 24 inches, whilst this power is in effect, that unit is at minus 1 weapon skill, minus 1 ballistic skill, furthermore, any attacks from sonic weaponry that hit the target unit whilst under this power is in effect, are resolved at plus 1 strength. Okay, that's not bad. So if you take uh, Noise Marines with their Sonic Blasters, it counts plus one strength against that target. That's quite good. Uh, still need Warp Charge 1, so it's not bad. 5 or 6 is Warp Charge 2. Witch Firepower. So range 24 inch. Strength Special. Okay. AP negative. Assault 1. And I can't read that special. What does it do though? If a unit is hit by this ability, do not roll to wound as normal. Instead, every non-vehicle model in the mar in the target unit takes a hit at its own unmodified strength. Oh. So as long as you hit the unit, if I'm reading this correctly. As long as you hit the unit, every model in the unit hits itself at its own strength. Ooh. Now that's nice. Now that is good. Fire that into a massive squad of Hormagaunts or Orc Boys. They're going to be wounding themselves. And that is. Oh, that's nice actually. I have all three though, I might still have to go Nurgle. It's Nurgle or Slanesh out of the two. I think I've got the best powers. Hmm. The so Psychic, which is a big thing now, doesn't disappoint. Give them that. Really should cover Marks of the Chaos Gods actually. I haven't covered that. Ah. So the Marks of the Chaos Gods, what giving a mark to a squad or an HQ will do. If you give them Mark of Corn, models with Mark of Corn have the Rage and Counter Attack special rules. So Rage is you gain two attacks instead of one for charging. And Counter Attack. Counter Attack, I think if you roll a four plus, you get an extra attack as if you were char charging if you are being charged. So that's not bad. Mark of Nurgle. Models with the mark of Nurgle have plus one toughness. Ooh. 
Additionally, a psycho with the mark of Nurgle must generate at least one power from the discipline Nurgle, which we just covered. Okay, that's not bad. Mark of Zinch. Models with the mark of Zinch have plus one to their invulnerable saves, to a maximum of three plus. If given to a model that does not already have an invulnerable save, this mark confers an invulnerable save of six plus. Right, so a standard squad of tactical marines, if you give the mark to them, will have a 6 plus invun. That's not too bad. Additionally, if a psyker is given this, he must take a, one of his powers from Mark of Zinch. Okay, so it's the same as with Nurgle. Mark of Slanesh. Models with the Mark of Slanesh have plus one initiative, plus psychers, if taken with this mark, have to have at least one power from Mark of Slanesh. Um, I might have to go Mark of Nurgle if I want to for an army. That, so you're going to have Toughness 5, or you could have Mark of Zinch, which would be 6 up in them on your troop. Don't know, that's good. Hmm. That is good. Right. So, why are we? Into the HQ section. <sighs> First HQ it listed Abaddon the Spoiler, 265 points. Weapon skill 7, ballistic skill 5, strength 4, toughness 5, 4 wounds, initiative 6, 4 attacks, leadership 10, 2 up armour. Cool. War here, he has uh, Terminator armor. Okay, Chaos artifacts. He has the Draken and Talons of Horus. Okay. Let's quickly flick to his profile. What do these weapons do? So his Chaos artifacts. Abaddon's Demon. Blade Sword grants plus one strength, AP two, melee, demon weapon, specialist weapon. So demon weapons when you gain D six attacks. That's nice. That's so technically on the charge. Does he have? He has the mark. He has every single mark of the Chaos Gods. So on the charge. If you roll correctly, that would be 10, 1 for 2 combat weapons, and 2 for charge. So you could be lashing out 13 attacks. Yeah, he's worth taking. Other weapon, Talons of Horus. Talons of Horus are, have a combi bolter built in. In addition, Blood Angels have Hatred Abaddon. Special rule. So if you're playing against Blood Angels, they have Hatred towards your Warlord. Okay. Talons of Horus are uh, times two strength. AP three. Okay, that lets him down a bit. Melee shred specialist weapon. Um, I'd probably go with the sword for the most part. If I'm honest. Um, has he got any other special rules? He's got a turn arrow, so two up armor. He's got a five up in bun, but he has Marcus Inch, so four up in bun. Black Crusader, which means he has. Uh, that's the Warlord trait, that is Hatred Space Marines. He's Fearless, Eternal Warrior, has Veterans of the Long War. Okay, he's not bad. Pro worth taking. Next HQ, Huron Blackheart. Weapon Skill 6, Blister Skill 4, Strength Toughness 4. Three wounds, initiative five, three attacks, leadership ten, three up armor. Okay, hundred and sixty points for him. Has power armor, power axe, fracking crack grenades, signal of corruption, so he has a four up in van. Master of deception, so he can infiltrate D three plus one units. Fearless. Oh, that's a couple of special rules we need to check, so fifty eight. Blackheart. 
Every turn he gains one psychic power from either biomancy, uh, pyromancy, or divination. Okay, okay. And his artifacts are Tyrant's Core. Tyrant's Core profile is plus two strength, AP three, melee, armor bane, shred, specialist weapon. Nice. Now he's quite nice. Right, so next HQ to look at. Khan the Betrayer, my personal favourite out of the new rule set. Weapon skill 7, Splitter skill 5, Strength 5, Toughness 4, 3 Wounds, Initiative 5, 4 Attacks, Leadership 10, 3 Up Armour. Morgia, Power Armour, Plasma Pistol, Crack and Crack Grenades, Aura of Dark Glory, so 5 Up in them. His Wall of Trait is Hatred Incarnate, so it has, I believe that is your him and his squad have hatred. He'll probably be in a squad of berserkers, so they have it anyway. Special rules. The Betrayer, that's when he hits on a 2 plus. But on a 1, he hits his own men. Mm, yeah, not nice being around him. Blessing of the Blood God. Fearless. Furious Charge. Mark of Corn. And Veteran of the Long War. Okay, and his Chaos Artifact is Gore Child. I'm going to look up the stats so I get it right. Which is plus one strength, AP2, melee, armor bane. Nice. 160 points for Khan. Yeah, I, I take him. Definitely. Definitely worth his points. Next one is Araman, which is the psy main psychic character for the special section. Weapon and Blister skill 5, Strength Toughness 4, 3 Wounds, Initiative 5, 3 Attacks, Leadership 10, 3 Up Armour. Okay. Wargear, Power Armour, Bolt Pistol, Frack Crack Grenades. Auro Dark Glory, so the five up in van. Infernal Bolts, so that's the AP3 um, bolts. So his bolt pistol's AP3. Okay, so he has Master of Deception as well, so he gets the infiltrate units. Fearless, independent character, Mark of Zinch, Psychic Level 4. Oh my god. Knows all abilities from Zinch. 230 points. Yeah, I'll take him. Right, so that's just covered Araman. Yes, before any of you decide to note, this is a location change. I had to film the rest of it in a different place due to unforeseen problems. But the next on the HQ list, uh, Typhus. 230 points, same as Araman. Okay, it's not too bad. Right, so weapon skill 6, plus skill 5, mm. strength 4, toughness 5, yep, Lord, Lord Nurgle, it's going to be higher toughness, 4 wounds, that's quite good, initiative 5, good, 3 attacks, that's okay, leadership 10, 2 up armour, terminator armour, okay, so war gear, as so I just said, terminator armour, blind Light grenades. Okay. Chaos artifacts. Man Reaper. Okay, what's Man Reaper? Man Reaper, Man Reaper. Man Reaper. Plus two strength. AP two. Melee. Demon weapon. Force. Unwieldy. Ooh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. I like that. You're definitely going to be used. His Warlord trait automatically has Lord of Terror. Okay, so that's not bad. Special rules Champion of Chaos, Fearless. 
So along with that, do this from A, as I said, down to the long war. Okay. And the two special rules he has. Uh, you've got destroy a hive, which is instead of having combat attacks, he can put a large blast over his head, hitting when before combat technically starts at initiative 10. And you've got plague zombies, so you, you nominate a unit of cultists in your army, they are given Mark of Nurgle and Feel No Pain. So, bloody good. Uh, he counts as Lord of Plague Host, so if you take him, you can take. Plague Marines instead of troop. Good. See, so sounds bloody good. Lucius. Lucius. Okay, so Lucius, 165 points. So cheaper than most of them have been so far. The weapon skill 7, bliss skill 5, strength of 4, 3 wounds, initiative 6. Three attacks, leadership ten, three up armor. Okay. So his character. War gear, Doom Siren. Doom Siren. What the hell is one of those? Do, 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 do. Doom Siren, Template, Strength 5, AP 3, Assault 1.